Hello everyone, welcome back to IV's YouTube channel. Today I will demonstrate how to configure Hadoop on Ubuntu inside a virtual box. Let's get started. If you are watching this video for the first time and don't know how to install virtual box, please follow the virtual box video. Okay, first we see lots of people asking how they can dynamically change the window size of a virtual box to do that first click on devices then click insert guest audition cd image this will create a mounted image click on it to open it then copy the path vbox linux edition dot run file press ctrl plus alter plus t to open the terminal then type sudo space followed by pasting the copied path and hit enter provide the password to run the code oh i forgot to add my user to the sudo's file so i quickly add it using root user privileges Once that's done, run the vbox linux editions dot run file. After it's installed, restart the OS by clicking on the top right corner, then selecting power off followed by restart. Now you can change the window size dynamically. Alright, now let's move on to installing Hadoop. First, open the Firefox web browser and search for Apache Hadoop. Click on the downloaded link, then click on binary version of 3.2.4. Now copy the downloaded link and then open the terminal using Ctrl plus Alter plus T. Write wget paste followed by pasting the Hadoop downloaded link. Since the download might take some time, so I'll skip it for now. Once it's downloaded, we need to unzip it. In terminal, type tar paste dash xjf followed by pasting the downloaded file name from above. You can check if it's unzipped using the ls command. Rename the Hadoop-3.2.4 folder to just Hadoop using mv command. Now let's check if Java is installed. Use the command java space dash version. You can see that Java isn't installed on this virtual machine. You can install it by typing sudo space apt space install space openjdk dash 11 dash jdk and then press enter. Over here, press y to press it. After Java is installed, you can verify it using either Java space dash version or Java C command. Next, we need to create a data folder inside the Hadoop folder. So first go inside the Hadoop folder using cd command, then type mkdir space 
data now go inside the data folder using cd command again then create two sub directories using mkdr space dash p inside curly bracket data node comma name node now we need to set up some export commands and for that i will use a text editor over here first we need to find the path where java is installed you can use this command to find the java path In the text file, we'll export java underscore home with the java path and copy paste the java path over here and then hadoop home and then we will export hadoop underscore home with the hadoop path. To get the hadoop path, navigate to the hadoop folder and use pwd command. and copy paste the path then we need to set up various other paths like hadoop install hadoop mapred home hadoop common home hadoop hdfs hadoop yarn all of them have the same name it's dollar hadoop underscore home Also, we have to set up Hadoop common lib native path and the path of Hadoop bin and Hadoop sbin and Hadoop ops. Don't worry, you can find these commands in the description below. Now copy all these commands and go to terminal and type nano space tilde backslash dot bash rc to open the file for editing. Scroll down at the bottom using down arrow key and paste the copied command. Save the file by pressing ctrl o then enter and exit using ctrl x to execute the commands type source space tilde backslash dot bash rc if nothing is displayed it means the commands run successful 
with the environment setup let's move on configure hadoop i have copied the configuration from previous videos on windows the configuration is quite similar across different operating system with minor differences first navigate to the hadoop slash etc slash hadoop folder where you will find various configuration files type nano space hadoop dash env dot sh to edit it scroll down to the java implementation part and write export space java underscore home equal to java path location and save the file then edit core dash site dot xml file with nano command and paste the exact properties you can find these properties in the description below Similarly, edit hdfs-site.xml file using nano. Oh, we need to change the deprecation factor to 3 and I am modifying the property names for name node and data node to dfs.name.dot dir and dfs dot data dot dir respectively for you you just have to copy the path to get the path of data node and name node open the terminal go inside the data node folder which we have created write pwd to get the path and copy paste the path over here And finally, copy the all the files inside HDFS dash site XML file. Repeat this process for the properties mapred dash site dot XML file and yarn dash site dot XML file, then save all the files. Once that's done, format the name node using the command hdfs space name node space dash format. After that, run start dash dfs dot sh. But you might encounter a localhost connection refused error. To resolve this, generate an SSH key without a password using ssh dash keygen space dash p space rsa press enter for each prompt until it's finished this will generate a key named id underscore rsa to authorize the key use the cat command
and then grant read and write access using ch mod space 640. Now in the terminal run ssh space localhost again. If you face a connection error again then install ssh using sudo space apt space install space ssh. After installation run ssh space localhost again and this time it should ask for permission type yes and then press enter now launch the nodes using start dash dfs.sh and you see for me data node and name node is starting you can use jps command to check if the nodes are running. Similarly, run start dash yarn.sh to launch the resource manager and verify it using JPS command. To access the Hadoop cluster summary from your browser, type localhost 50070 or localhost 9870 and there you have it we have successfully installed Hadoop on Ubuntu thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this